Good morning and welcome to Tuesday, the 26th of December, 2023, Boxing Day or St. Stephen's Day. A warm welcome to you as we share in this recorded service of morning prayer. Our readings this morning are Psalm 13 and Acts chapter 6. As usual, both readings will appear screen share through the course of this recording. So we turn to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assume the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 13 and the response is, I love the Lord. For he has heard the voice of my supplication. I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. How long will you forget me, O Lord, forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have anguish in my soul and grief on my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. Look upon me and answer. O Lord my God, lighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. But I put my trust in your steadfast love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt so bountifully with me. I love the Lord. For he has heard the voice of my supplication. We pray, Jesus Christ, Son of God, who passed through the deep, dark sleep of death, remember those who cry to you in shame and silence and defeat, and raise them to your risen life, for you are alive and reign forever. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, shall be for ever. Amen. Acts chapter 6. Now during these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait at tables. Therefore, friends, Select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The number of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of them who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen, for they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law, for we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him. They saw that his face was like the face of an angel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you wonder, like I do sometimes, well, many times, that I could be more effective 
in my application of the faith in ordinary everyday life? Well, we can take some hints here from Stephen in his active ministry. Stephen, as we've heard there, was called, uh, along with six others, set aside to a specific task. Deacons serving at tables, as it uh, is commonly said. They were there to serve the needs of the widows and also the vulnerable in their uh, communities there. Stephen was chosen because he was a man of faith. He knew his Bible, as it were. Uh, he knew his scriptures. Not only that, he practiced his faith in scriptures. I'm sure he was regular in prayer, in study and engaging in worship and fellowship with fellow uh, Christians. And we heard from that, he applied all that through his basic uh, human response to those in need, acts of compassion and care and love and support, what we call partial care to those around him, the vulnerable, the widows, etc. around him. And we heard from that, that a strong sense of community based on faith developed, the church grew and developed and blossomed and flourished until unfortunately Stephen uh, was arrested and I'm sure we know the rest of the story. But let's just go back to Stephen's active ministry. As we begin to think about starting the new year and starting to make resolutions, this could be one of them perhaps, how we can become more effective in expressing and communicating what we believe in into the people around us in our lives, be that at work, at home, etc. I like to think that we are people of faith with the, well, by the fact that you're following our recorded uh, services uh, to engage in prayer, to engage in worship, to engage in study and reflection and to apply that in the most basic areas of life around us through acts of pastoral care and love and support to others. And we should soon find that others will then start to come together, a sense of sort of community, a bonding. And relating begins to start to, de to, to develop. The isolation can begin to break down as trust and support and care is extended uh, two ways to one another. And there we are. We have suddenly find our faith is engaging into action. So there we are. A little sort of resolution perhaps for the new year for you. Let's now move on to the words of the Benedictus. I'll go back to screen share. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. We to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. But you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, shall be forever. Amen. And so we now have a time of prayer. Let us pray. First of all, let us pray for all who bear the name Stephen, all institutions, churches, schools, wherever, that share the dedication to Stephen. May they be truly blessed, we pray, Heavenly Father, today, as uh, we focus on St. Stephen today. May his example and inspiration uh, uh, help us and have all who bear the name Stephen, uh, again, be individuals or institutions, uh, etc., um, in uh, living their lives in accordance to your will and your way and your purposes. So, Lord, we ask you to bless them, to keep them safe and to enable them to grow and to develop and to flourish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We continue to pray for the world, but this time of the year particularly, we focus on peace. 
and reminding ourselves how the Christ child is the bringer of peace, bringer of reconciliation uh, between individuals at whatever level. And Father God, we pray for peace in our deeply divided and troubled world, particularly in areas where there's conflict going on at this time within the Middle East and within Eastern Europe. We pray, Father, too, for all who are engaged in seeking to find ways to bring these um, conflicts to an end, to bring about not just a moment's peace, but a lasting peace, and a peace that will enable nations to respect one another once more and to allow individuals to grow and to develop according to their own particular national identities, whilst recognising their place in the world community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those for whom this is a difficult time of the year, for those who are unwell, those who are confined to their homes for whatever reason, those suffering physically, those suffering mentally, those suffering with anxiety and depression and darkness, with difficult memories at this time of the year, where circumstances have changed and life is not the same as it was in previous years. Those who feel isolated and lonely. Lord, you came to save and support all human beings in all situations and circumstances. So we bring before you, Lord, all those who feel very broken at this time of the year for whatever reason. May they be encouraged and restored and renewed and refreshed by the wonderful story of how you came to be one of us as the baby Jesus, to be alongside us in all aspects of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we pray for ourselves. We give you thanks, Lord, for this time of the year, for the holidays that we have. For those of us who are able to meet with friends and families, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunities to do so. And may there be times of great blessing, of enjoyment, of refreshment and re-energizing of ourselves. Bless and support and protect all those who are special and precious to us at this time of the year, we pray. And bless our travelling, Lord, and uh, our journeys that we make to see those whom we value and appreciate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. The collect for today. Let's see it together. Gracious Father, who gave the first martyr Stephen grace to pray for those who took up stones against him, grant that in all our sufferings for the truth, we may learn to love even our enemies and to seek forgiveness for those who desire our hurt, looking up to heaven, to him who was crucified for us, Jesus Christ, our mediator and advocate, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so to the concluding words. May God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So may I conclude by wishing you a continuing happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, as we look forward to the new year, a blessed and happy new year as well. If indeed you found this recording helpful, and if you wish to share it with others, 
Uh, we do have other material, particularly for those who are experiencing a difficult uh, time of the year this year. And we've called it a blues Christmas. And you'll find it elsewhere uh, on our YouTube channel. I do commend that to you um, to help uh, others, who means to say, who may be experiencing a difficult time this year. Or indeed, please do have a look at it yourselves. And we're always welcome to receive comments back from you. Anyway, once again, every blessing for today. And I look forward to being with you this time next week. Goodbye.